Okay, hey everyone, as you know, um, ChatGPT is a conversational bot, right? You can talk to it, tell it stuff, and it'll respond back, and it'll remember stuff. So I'm gonna say, hey, I'm Tyler, um, 30 years old. And I just realized you guys can't see this, so let me make myself smaller. Okay, there we go. So let's say this to ChatGPT, and it's gonna respond and say hello, and um, you know, how, um, who created you? Let's see if it's self-aware, first of all. Okay, and then I can also ask it stuff. One of the cool things about ChatGPT is that it'll remember stuff before. So, okay, what was my name? Right now, there is one downfall with ChatGPT is you can't go out into the internet yet, which we did in a previous video. You can look stuff, look stuff up with Langchain. So um, we can't do that here, right? It's, it only has data up until March 14th. So one cool thing that it does though is it remembers stuff. So I said, what was my name from before? And it says, my name is Tyler, blah, blah, blah. How old am I? And these are elements that are really important in a conversational chatbot, right? Something that remembers. And that's what we're going to do today with Langchain and agents. We are going to create a fake chat GPT, not the UI, but just sort of the Python skeleton. We might put a UI on it in another video, but you can basically ask it questions and have it look stuff up on the internet. So let's go ahead and get started. It's very simple. There's a couple things you're going to need. And if you can take a look here, I'm loading up a library to import environment variables. <clears throat> so you're going to need a couple environment variables. You're going to need OpenAI. You're going to need the Google search wrapper, um, creds and package. So you're going to install the Google API Python client and sign up for a custom search engine, set up a custom search engine and get an API key and a uh, search engine ID. Okay. And you're going to save all those as environment variables. That'll give you the ability to look stuff up on the internet with a, uh, with Langchain. So after that's really straightforward, you can go into the docs and they've got a really good um, documentation on a conversation agent. Now we used um, the chat model, which is chat open AI. You can import it here and um, uh, you instantiate it this way. But let's get started. Let's import these packages. So we'll import tool because we're going to use the search wrapper. Um, the conversation buffer memory, which is the memory part that'll basically allow uh, the language model to reference parts from the previous conversation, parts of the history. Then of course, open AI, the search wrapper and a utility function to initialize the agent. Okay. So we're going to create a variable called search and, um, another, a tools variable that'll hold a, a description of the tools we're going to use. And we're going to use the search tool, right? The Google, um, search API wrapper. So let's enter on that. Then we'll create the memory. And I think I'm gonna go, cause this is a short video, I'll go show you guys the different kinds of memory. We're gonna use the conversation buffer memory, which means that you eventually are going to run out of space in the memory. And there's a couple ways to remedy that. So let's take a look at the memory um, options here. Memory from Langchain. Ba -ba -ba, getting started. Okay. Conversation buffer memory. The conversation buffer memory is just a wrapper around chat message history. Okay, pretty simple. Using it in a chain, blah, blah, blah. Where's all the other kinds? Hmm. How to guides, how about if we go there? Okay, here's all the other kinds of memory. Um, how about we'll try buffer window. So we know that these models can only take a certain number of tokens, right? So as your history goes on, as it continues, you can start you do this much and then you slide a window down and now it's going to use this much and it continues that way. You're never really uh, using the entirety of it, but you're not, you know, sending too many tokens. Um, so that's one of them. There's a couple others. What about a summary buffer memory, which is interesting. It combines the last two ideas. And again, take a look at these docs, but what it basically does, let me zoom in. It keeps a buffer of recent interactions in memory but rather than just completely flushing out old interactions, it makes a summary. Okay, so I did a window like this. Let's do a window like this. Let's say you're moving like this. You go here, you've got this uh, history, you move over a little bit, but summarize what happened over here and sort of inject it. And so it seems that that's what it's doing. It's moving a window and using a bit of the summary from the past, which gives it a little more context, I guess. It's best better than losing it, right? So 
here we are. We're going to use the uh, conversation buffer memory, the really basic one. Give it a key. Press enter. And then we'll instantiate the, uh, the LLM. We're, again, we're using the chat open API one. And um, here we'll initial, initialize it, pass in the tools, the LLM, and this agent type, which let's go and check that up in, in Langchain. We'll go to agents because we've used a different one before. Getting started. What about agent types? Here we go. So we've used this one. Now we are going to use the conversational. We'll be used in a conversational setting. The prompt is designed to make the agent helpful and conversational. It uses this the React framework, which I want to look into. I haven't I haven't looked into it much to decide which tool to use and me uses memory to remember the previous conversations. Great. Let's give that a shot now. My apologies. If you recall, I had given a uh, chat GPT some, uh, some, some information about me. So I'm going to do the same. Hey, I'm Tyler. I'm 30 years old. Okay. Great. Nice to meet you, Tyler. Now, what if I want to ask it something about the internet, right? It's going to remember this history and we'll prove that later, but I want to ask it something to go out in the internet. So, um, I want to see like a sports game. What was the score of the wizards? versus Raptors game on uh, Sunday. That would have been 27 on uh, March 26. So ChatGPT doesn't know this, right? So let's actually see what it says. Don't have access to real-time information, right? We knew that. Let's go ahead here. And it's going to go ahead and uh, use that tool and actually look this up. And let's see. Thought, okay, action, it's gonna search, blah, blah, blah. Great, the Toronto Raptors beat the Wizards 114 to 104. I think that's correct. Someone double check it, but I think that's correct. So anyway, we, we just used the internet to answer a question. Now what I'm gonna do is um, I wanna see if the memory component is working. So I'll just say, cool, do you remember what my name was? Okay. My name is Tyler. Now, let's ask it something else. Let's maybe ask it to, to do a little computation. How old will I be in 10 years? And remember, I'm 30 years old now. I'll be 40 in 10 years. Crazy. So the memory works, and we got it to access the internet. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And this is a very simple example. You can go ahead and check the Langchain docs for how to do this. But um, Feel free to put a UI on this and make a little chatbot. We might do that in the next video if anybody's interested. Um, hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions at Tyler What's Good, and uh, let me know what you think. Are you guys building chatbots? Um, they're very cool, and I'm very excited about it. We'll ha we'll be back with more videos on agents um, in the next one or in the next videos in the series, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.